guys, so today nandito tayo sa TOEF. Today is my driving uh, examinations and it all starts and ends here in TOEF. So ayan, I'm getting ready. Nervous at the same time but I'm just hoping na everything will win will be good. We'll all go as it is planned. Pasa ako! I passed by driving examination. So ngayon, nandito tayo sa Landat's Amp for para kunin ang ating lisensya with Daddy Mark and Kia! We are back home, so dahil hindi naman ako nakapag-film during my examinations, I want to share with you what happened. So, ano ba talaga nangyayari during the driving practical examinations dito sa Germany? So, um, at first, ang inyong teacher, our far letter, ay nakasakay din together with you during the examinations. Siya ang nakasakay sa katabi mo. At ang examiner o ang proofer will be seated at the back. So, syempre, ang proofer or ang examiner, siya magbibigay ng lahat ng directions in German. So, syempre, sa mga kagaya ko na hindi pa ganun talaga okay ang German, so, a little struggle tayo dyan, but that's why we have this practice driving. So, Take advantage of it talagang kung sinabi ng yung letter or ng inyong teacher na you still need more time to practice, then grab it. Kasi dun talaga kayo matitrain kahit na nakapag-drive na kayo sa Philippines or not or sa ibang bansa. If sinabi ng inyong teacher more practice, then grab it. More practice, it means more chances of winning siya. More chances na mas makapasa kayo ng inyong driving test. Ang mga ginawa namin sa aming examinations, iti-check ng inyong teacher ang inyong pag pag uh, check lagi sa inyong uh, spiegel or mirror. Yan ang unang-unang talagang tinitingnan ng inyong teacher kung gaano kayo kadalas tumingin sa inyong mirror. And at the same time, ang shoulder blick. Ang shooter blick is yung hindi pagdedepend lang sa mirrors na nasa loob ng sasakyan. Ang shooter blick is yung pagtingin ng sa inyong shoulders. It means pagtingin sa likod din ng, ng sasakyan at pagtingin dun sa mga blind spots na hindi nakikita ng mirror. So, yan ang chinecheck talaga ng, ng teacher Number one yan. And at the same time, yung mga signs, of course, dito sa Germany. We have lots of signs also in Philippines. But, of course, diba, to be honest, hindi naman talaga natin yan fina-follow. So, dito sa Germany, very strict sila sa mga rules, signs dito sa driving. Third is ang Rex for links. Rex for links or right before left. In every... In every street or crossroads, usually, yaan ang dapat gawin. Kung walang sign ng priority or forefront, you have to check the right side and the cars in front of you. So, usually, sila ang priority. So, yan ang chine-check during examinations. Yan ang ginawa ko. And at the same time, pinag-park ako. Pinag-park ako ng... Rook verts or yung pa patalikod. So, paatras. Paatras na parking. And, at the same time, uh, dumaan kami syempre sa mga autobahn. Ang autobahn is yung parang expressway natin dito. Syempre, doon, check ng inyong examiner kung at is ba kayo at sanay kayong mag-drive sa mabilis. Kasi syempre, dito sa Germany, puro autobahn dito, puro expressway dito. Kahit na nasa kabilang city ka lang, dadaan at dadaan ka sa 
Autobahn or sa expressway. So, gusto makita ng proofer, ng examiner, kung confident ka ba mag-drive ng mabilis. Also, yung Gefar, Gefar Bremsung, or yung parang de, pag uh, dangerous brake, I think, like that, yung, yung translation niya in English. Siyempre, gusto i-check ng examiner if you know how to brake if ever merong isang uh, incident na need mo talaga ng total break. Yun. So, like for example, may biglang dadaan or biglang tatawid, may biglang aso na tatawid sa harap mo, gusto niya i-check kung gaano ka ka-strong mag-break. So, yan. Ginawa rin namin yan. So, I think those are the important things na ginawa namin. Gefar, Gefar Bremsung, chinek niya yung speed ko sa autobahn or yung expressway. Yung mga Rex for links and signs, chinek na yan sa akin sa mga small small streets. Usually, doon ginagawa yun yung mga signs and Rex for links. And, uh, yeah. So, yung spiegel or yung mirror, yan yung chinek niya sa akin. So, yan lahat ng ginawa namin for today. Ang proof, ang proof form or ang examinations usually nasa 30 to 45 minutes lang yan. And then, the rest of the time, i-explain sa inyo ng iyong teacher, I know, sorry, ng iyong examiner kung ano yung evaluation niya during the examination. So, there you go. That's my examination. Ang tips ko for those who are planning and they are currently processing their their driving license, uh, if you need some tips, ito ang masasabi ko. First, Always listen to your far letter. Pag sinabi nga niya na you need more practice, it means you really need more practice. Kaya yung sabi ko kanina, whether you are driving in Philippines or not, or in other country, huwag kayong magdedepend sa self-knowledge nyo. Mas maigi na mas makinig kayo sa teacher nyo kasi alam niya kung ano ang rules at ano ang bagiging safety mo when you go driving by yourself. So, that's the first one. Second one, always look on the mirror. Mirror, shoulder blick, or yung pagtingin sa mga blind spots, not just depending on the mirror. Always look at that. Kasi yan ang check ng inyong examiner. How often do you check your mirrors? And then third, if you are driving backwards, like for my case, nag-drive ako, nag-parking ako backwards, slow down. You don't need to to put a lot of gas kapag umaatras kayo. So, pwede kayong mag-take time. Just slow down. Mas maingat, mas masigurado kapag umaatras. And then, last but not the least, be relaxed. Be calm during the proofing. Of course, pag inaunahan na tayo ng kaba, andyan na lahat ang pwedeng mangyari. Gaya nga na sabi ko, ang teacher, ang, ang examiner ang magsasabi sa inyo ng mga rules, ng mga directions. So, kung mauunahan kayo ng kaba, pag sinabi niya, in Swayte Ampel Rex, or in the second stoplight, you have to turn right, and then kinakabahan kayo, pwedeng maraming mangyari, pwedeng mag, magkaroon ka na yung accident. So, I suggest, first and foremost, you have to be calm. Pray, and I know everything will be fine. So, that's all for today. I am happy I did it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!